ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Good Will Spreader channel. I'll be uploading today a video of another deck that I made and I'll pit against an other deck a friend of mine made. Today we'll be confronting Weevil Underwood with my Princess Tarot Ray or Tarot Tray. Well, I can summon the princess from the get to go. <laughs> this particular variation of the princess summoning needs me to sacrifice the pot of taboo. And I'll select plasma, I'll select this other thing, and throw some source of revealing light. The swords stop my opponent from attacking me, which is exactly what I want to. Now I've summoned successfully the pot of taboos. Yes. And I'll change this card to face up position. And they got well. That went pretty bad. <coughs> yeah, pretty bad for me. Honestly, an asshole move. Nothing I cannot fix, but it's annoying nonetheless. I pick yet again another princess, I throw another Maju to repeat the process again. And I'll set this card and the uh, certain point of view the actions at the moment of the artificial intelligence are hilarious. It's like a kid that doesn't know what to do with a new toy. Alright, I'll activate this and sacrifice amplifier. I do it because I am honestly sick of it playing constantly insect barrier. Now with this I sacrifice these three monsters to summon plasma and I activate plasma's effect which turns him from a to a well, that got bad fast. As you can see by the forbidden signs. Ah, uh, this is the problem with Weevil and why I, I hate his deck so much. It's the constant spamming of mind control cards. That gets annoying and it gets on one's nerves. I believe he lacks any more of those cards, but to play it safe. I 
activate Tarotase. Effect and end my turn. And I summon the pot of taboos. From there, now that it's face down and out, I activate my card. to summon plasma Sometimes he does this, sometimes the AI decides that he's better winning uh, via corpse stuff and doesn't even let you get any good cards. Now that my lockdown is complete, I can explain what I wanted with this deck. Pot of Taboos along Princess Tower Tape provide a nice synergy and, uh, and one that it's a real nasty piece of work. I'll explain. Tower Tape has three effects. I can flip face up in attack position a monster or I can do the reverse and flip the monster face down in defense position. How this benefits me? Well, pot of taboos. Whenever it's flipped I can choose one, one of four effects. In this case, I'll be choosing destroy all monsters you open controls. 
this obviously gives him me a wide breadth of attack because suddenly my opponent finds himself without defenses Destiny Hero Plasma negates any and all the effects of monsters in the field self-explanatory on top of his ability to equip enemy monsters it already grants him a substantial bonus of attack both of the moves I have already explained and Jinso Jinso blocks any and all trap cards be on my side or on my opponent's side it doesn't matter he blocks them unless I give him a certain equipment I will be doing that now but with that my opponent cannot use magic and to Horus ability to destroy them I can he can set monsters because I can destroy them via pot of taboos thanks to Tarotes and if by any bizarre chance pots of taboos gets destroyed I can take it directly from the rapture and summon it face down in defense mode with Tarotes a special effect thanks to that gets hard to defeat this deck. That being said, thanks for watching. I like I would like to thank you for taking a minute of your day, of your time, to see this video. If you like it, please subscribe, leave a like, use the like button down there, or if you have a comment, please share your thoughts. Or if you want to see me using a deck you've made or a card that you have favor, tell me and I'll build a deck around it. Don't be shy. That being said, thanks for watching. Happy day. Happy week. I'll see you tomorrow.